Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself. Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah, you, you always make me feel like oh yeah, you. You never leave my thoughts alone. Yeah, you, you're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video, for joining me for another motivational cleaning, cooking, working out, folding clothes, like your girl is getting it all done in these videos. So I wanted to give you some motivation for whatever to-do list you have that you need to tackle this is definitely going to help you. So put this on and let's get to it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel you need to do so. If you are new to the channel, I hope you are joining the family. If you are lifetime loyal, you know I love you guys to the moon and back. And I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you guys. So let's hop into the video. Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take, the love that we make, it's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you... So you guys, I've been going back and forth with, should I redo my bedroom? What should I do? I have so many things in my Amazon cart of how I want to redo my bedroom. I have the vision in my mind. But I'm just taking my time with it a little bit at a time because I'm really not looking forward to doing any more painting, guys. Like, I'm really just not looking forward to painting, to be honest with you. So I thought about painting the mantle and like redoing the fireplace area and like just painting all the brown wood stuff in my bedroom. I don't know if I'll do it. We shall see. But if I redo the bedroom, I'll probably include that in there. I guess that's why I'm putting it off. But anyway... I am cleaning up my bedroom. My bedroom is always the last place that I tackle. So I have, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to be better with focusing on the bedroom, really being diligent about putting things away, putting them back in their place, getting rid of things that don't belong in my bedroom, you know, the girl's hair bows and such like that doesn't need to be in my bedroom. And I'm really trying my best to, to just be diligent about having the space be clean organized and a calming retreat for me at the end of the night let me something in my brain holds you i've been hanging by myself asking for help but nothing seems to work on you yeah I use my desk area to edit, to also do some work, and I also use it to put on makeup every now and then when I do, you know, when I put on makeup. So it is multifunctional, and I can't wait to just have my own office area where I will have those spaces, you know, those ded dedicated spaces. But right now, it is multifunctional. 
And also, with me redoing my bedroom, I would have it blend into this desk area that I'm using right now. So it'll blend, blend in seamlessly, guys, just so you know. That is my vision, and it'll get done. I'm going to give myself a little bit more time, but it's definitely going to get done. So you'll see on Chris's side of the room, I don't do too much with his side. He gets really, really agitated when his stuff is moved around for some reason um you know I've given him little spaces you know where he can put all of his man care and different stuff and all of that but you know he wants to put his stuff where he wants to put his stuff and I don't want to keep shifting it around too much because he he can't remember where it is or what I did with it or you know so I don't do too much with his side of the room but I do still get the room cleaned and organized you make me want to stay in on it, yeah, you. You're the reason I can't get out of my head. I just can't stop thinking about you. 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 Your girl had to take a quick little dance break. So as I'm cleaning up, I always have on music, guys. It's just something that I <laughs> that I love to do. So I either have on music or I have on YouTube. That's the thing. So I was doing both this day. I had the music on from YouTube. And yeah, so I just made it black and white so that I didn't get no, you know, no strikes or anything like that. But your girl took a little dance break and then I got right back to it. Yeah, come a little bit closer Yeah, you're a little bit crazy It's been days but you never change What's love got to do with it? He comes around but I'm not that stuck down Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah, come a little bit closer So on this day, we are actually all cleaning so London and the twins are actually cleaning upstairs. They're getting their room together. I'm doing my bedroom. Little Chris is cleaning up the bathroom and Ayana was cleaning up the kitchen. So we are all doing stuff, you know, doing stuff as a family, getting the house cleaned. And I actually surprised them and took them to Urban Air after we got done with this. I don't know if you know what, what Urban Air is. It's like a trampoline park, um, a park where the kids can go and just release some energy and they actually loved it. I didn't tell them anything about it. I just said, hey, I would love to take you somewhere, but we can't go unless your chores are done. So let's get this done. So while they were doing that, I said, this is the perfect time for me to clean my bedroom and get this in order. And it took a couple hours. I would say it took it took me a couple hours to get this done, which, you know, it was a mess. I'm not I'm not disputing that. But after we were done, everyone got washed and dressed and we headed out. Yeah, to all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're a little bit selfish. You get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse. Come a little bit closer. Yeah, I can really start over. Yeah, in the back of my mind, there's some. So, once I do my bedroom transformation, I do have new end tables, not end tables, guys, new bedside tables that I will be purchasing. I'll be purchasing, of course, all new bedding, curtains, and possibly a rug and um you know just and maybe another dresser as well 
and getting rid of some furniture in the space too. So trying to make it just be all cohesive and flow together as well as give extra storage. So I'm looking at all of that and that can be a little pricey. So that is another reason why I'm just, I'm just taking my time with that. I told you in another video that I am looking to purchase Ayana and Chris new beds and mattresses. And I think I will do that before I redo my bedroom. Either or, I'm, I'm, I'm debating which ones to do. But those are like the top two things that I want to get done. Waiting on me, you're just wasting my time. Because you're scared and lonely. Finally got some closure. Yeah, I can finally start over. Yeah. To all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye. I'm too fly. Got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face And tell that man bye-bye Now the room is clean, it is tidy, everything has been picked up All the trash, you know, just all the stuff is gone and I feel super good about it. Again, I didn't do much, like I said, on Chris's side. I organized the top of his dresser a little bit and I kept his stuff where it is. He can go through it and fix it how he sees fit. But my desk is clean. It was dusty. I got it all cleaned off, wiped down, and the floor has been vacuumed. I dusted and I feel pretty good. I feel really, really, really good. That office chair was there because when he had his surgery, it just felt good for him to sit up. So we will probably be getting rid of that in the next day or so. And now I am moving on to the hallway. I know I don't show this area too often, but this is the hallway. I'm getting rid of, uh, well, I'm getting ready to clean all of that up. And yeah, I'm just going to get this taken care of. like every time my kids walk past a wall they touch it I know all kids do that so I took some time I wiped off all the walls I just wanted to show you a little clip of that but yes I'm always wiping off the walls my mom used to she still does this <laughs> she is really diligent about keeping her walls clean and I love that Now I am moving into the kitchen and this is another day, but guys, you know, your girl's busy. <laughs> Everyone is busy. So if you don't know, let me just give you a little bit of information about myself. I am a wife, a mother. I have six amazing kids, five daughters and one son. The ages range from 23 to seven. The twins are seven. And yes, your girl is super busy all the time. I also work full time outside of the home, but starting February 1st, I will be returning back to the office for a couple days out of the week, like slowly transitioning back into it. 
So I've been super busy with getting ready for that. I've been going over to the office pretty much every day to kind of get this for a couple hours to kind of get it um, together. So yes, your girl is busy, but I do not mind washing dishes, cleaning up and so forth. So the kitchen is just, I don't know, it's just my happy place to be honest with you. It's just my happy place. But I need y'all to comment down below. My kids, I swear I got like maybe two forks now and <laughs> and maybe like six spoons they keep throwing away the silverware and I buy plastic silverware guys I buy plastic silver but they keep throwing away my silverware so I get my silverware now from Dollar General I think Do yeah I think it's Dollar General <laughs> so let me know if your kids do that too you got to watch these kids I swear they, they they either throw it away or they're eating it either one So on this night, I did two different things, guys. I made chicken, chicken legs. I had two bags that I purchased from Walmart. So I put the pan that I'm seasoning right here. I put that into the oven and then I did some additional chicken or yeah, chicken legs and I put them in my air fryer. I always use avocado oil when I'm cooking. I just, I don't know what it is, but I kind of love the taste of it. I don't like avocados. I I know that now for some reason they kind of taste like pistachios to me. I don't, I'm not a pistachio girl, but anyway, back to the chicken. So this just made it super easy for me to have two days worth of my protein, the meat for the family. So I put, like I said, the legs in the oven and I also put them in the air fryer and it was perfect. The kids, they love the way I season chicken. They love it. They love the way I season it. And yeah, like I said, it just made it easier. Put some in the air fryer, put some in the oven, and it was good to go. For my seasonings, I'm not sure if I showed you in this video. I've showed you a couple times, but I use seasoned salt, onion powder, garlic powder. I use chicken seasoning, steak seasoning, and do I use anything else? I can't remember. And then, like I said, I put the avocado oil on it. But that's, I don't know what it is, but they love the way it's seasoned, and I'm going to keep doing it that way. Wash down in the comments if you like to clean your kitchen at night I know some people before they go to bed they have to have a clean kitchen no dishes in the sink you know everything done and in order and then some people they don't mind they'll get up they'll clean it up the next day and keep going so I like to clean up for the most part get my dishes done at night I also noticed now that the kids are home and they've been home that after um, breakfast or as I'm doing lunch I like to clean up like the first part of the meal or the first part of the day I like to get get the kitchen clean and that way the kitchen is kind of semi clean for when I go to cook dinner like it's not all these dishes in there from you know breakfast and lunch so I like to get that done from the night to the day. Turn 
starts to shake from the night to the day. to the next morning or actually it's around lunchtime and I like to make Chris loves omelets so big Chris and little Chris so I like to make them an omelet I like to put meat in it usually it's sausage bacon or or ham sausage bacon or ham one of those things in there when I'm making the omelets and they just they love them so that's what I make for them and I get that out the way and then I actually scrambled some eggs made some more sausage and I made hash browns for the girls so everyone was happy you know yay and I actually had some egg sausage and I cut up some fruit for myself so it was perfect bring it up nothing you say makes it better mm -hmm. wreck and fall tear apart issues left behind restart Nothing you say makes it better kids do drive me crazy they drive me crazy yes they do but <laughs> I have thoroughly enjoyed being home with them for this year guys like I really have I've been able to help them with school I've been able to talk with them more we've had so much fun as a family like I just I've thoroughly enjoyed it I enjoy being home with my kids so that's why I'm happy that I can go into the office for um, let's say like two days per week and then still be with them the entire time I'm just I'm loving it so I don't know I know you're you know kids do drive you crazy don't get me wrong but oh, just having kids and being a mom is the best I just feel like it's the best ever <laughs> From the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah you find a different side of me Like 
like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Signs counting down till we take flight. It's how you make me feel. Yeah, yeah. Let's call it sick and be lazy. I'm all for doing what's crazy. Cause you make it real, yeah. You find a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me. Now it's time to get my workout in and I've been doing it and I've been feeling so good and the kids just cheer me on and it's so sweet. I just love it. So I'm doing a challenge for myself. I want to work out for 30 days in a row, at least 30 minutes per day. And sometimes, you know, I might do 20 minutes and then stop and then go back and do the last 10 minutes or, you know, I might do 20 minutes of working out and then take a 10 minute walk or whatever it may be as long as I get my 30 minutes in I feel great I'm also trying to make better choices and you know just live a healthier lifestyle I definitely want to lose weight but I'm not looking to be skinny so I don't 200 pounds that would be amazing um, to get in a certain size like maybe a 14 that would be awesome but I'm not trying to be skinny I'm just trying to live a healthier lifestyle be stronger be able to move and do what I want in this body so now I'm moving into the dining room and I'm just going to clean off the table really good and then start folding clothes I have about one, two, three, four, five, I believe five baskets of laundry. And I'm going to get all of that done <laughs> as quickly as possible. But yes, so I'm going to clean off the table. And then once I get the laundry taken care of, then I'll worry about cleaning up the rest of the space. Yeah, you'll find a different side of me. Like someone pretty need a different side of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peeled away, got me moving through time and space. Your magic can't be erased, can't be erased. Guys, I think I have about 12 packages that I need to go through. Some of them are sponsorships and some of them are from Amazon. I ordered a few things from Amazon regarding for my Etsy store, like um, stuff that I need to make more soaps and body butters and um, different stuff like that. Ayana is really into candles, so she may start making candles if that's what she wants to do. I'm perfect, perfectly open to that. But I ordered some stuff from off of Amazon business related. So that's what those those um, boxes are. And that one bag from Amazon is actually some more workout pants and tops. It was three more pants and three more tops. So anyway, moving into the laundry. I do not mind folding laundry whatsoever. Like I said, I either turn on music or turn on YouTube and get to it. And right here, I'm just talking with the kids. You can't see them, but I'm talking, laughing, you know, listening to them. So it... Folding laundry, washing, um, folding laundry, washing dishes and such doesn't bother me at all whatsoever. So yes, I'm gonna get this done and I get it done in maybe an hour or it doesn't take me long at all to get all that done. I'm gonna say it probably took me like an hour to get it done. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah, yeah. The one 
not like to be a different side of me, yeah. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now. We did have a family meeting and I did do a schedule. So each day of the week, the kids will wash their laundry. Ayana will have a day, Chris, London, they'll each have their own days. And then the twins will have a day that um, their laundry will be done. They're not going to do their own laundry, of course. And then my laundry, big Chris's laundry, and then the towels and washcloths and stuff, you know, and sheets and stuff like that. But what I was getting to is that the kids, Ayana, Chris, and London, London will be 12 in uh, less than two weeks. She'll be 12. And they can all wash and fold their own laundry, hang it up, do all of that. I'm not going to take care of that anymore. The only thing I worry about is my clothes, the twins' clothes, um, and Big Chris's clothes. That's it. Of course, the towels and washcloths and so forth. But that can be done by them as well. Like they can, they'll have their own towels, their own washcloths. They can make sure that they wash all of their stuff so that they have what they need. And also, they each have their chores and so forth. But we're going to, you know, probably do another chore chart so that everything is divvied up accordingly. You know, just to make the house run a lot more smoother. That's why I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on
This right here is just some true laundry motivation. <laughs> the only thing I didn't do was run downstairs and wash clothes for you guys. But this right here is true laundry motivation. So you'll see in my next video, me cleaning up more of downstairs. The hallway will get cleaned and so forth. I'll be organizing the buffet and just, you know, just trying to organize and get rid of and purge some stuff. That'll be in the next video. But I'm going to finish folding this laundry and then the kids are going to take it upstairs and put it away. And yeah, so even the twins, they take their clothes, they put it away. Everything has been labeled for them so they know where everything goes. And as far as hanging stuff up, I do hang up all of their stuff. But it's super easy. It seems to be working quite well. So I'm, I'm pleased about that. <laughs> Because, you know, it's a lot of laundry. There is, you know, seven of us guys, seven. So we just want to make sure that everything is in order, neat, tidy, because laundry can be overwhelming with a large family, for sure. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you wanted. Did you forget that code? Is I love it one-sided It should really be give and take Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that the my mistake? Covering his feelings Going through changes so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'ma just Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't be Thank you beautiful people for watching thank you so much i really hope you enjoyed the video i hope you got that motivation that you need to tackle your list whatever it may be cleaning the kitchen cleaning out the refrigerator you know whatever it may be i hope that this gave you motivation and i love you guys so much to the moon and back if you have not subscribed i hope that you will do so and become a part of the lifetime loyals and yeah i'll talk to you in the next video have a marvelous day bye Go